So I want to show you what um, what a direct variation is, or what that what that means. So just setting up the basic idea here, uh, we would say the relationship between two variables, you know, and the, the standard ones are x and y, is called a direct variation if one of the variables is a constant multiple of the other. And actually, uh, if if there is a direct variation between x and y. Um, or as we'd say, y varies directly as x, you can describe their relationship with an equation like, you know, like this. So, um, you know, for example, y equals 3x, which means uh, whatever x is, y is three times as big. So that's what we mean by it's a constant. So y would be a constant multiple of, of x, because you know, just plug in whatever for x, Multiply by three, and you'll get y. So y is always three times as big as x. And you know, in the other way, you, you could look at this as x is is always one third as big as y. Um, you know, you can look at it that way too. So if there's if one is always a constant multiple of the other, uh, then there's a direct variation. Um, so I'll, I'll have a couple examples here, and I'll show you how to tell uh, if there's a direct variation here just to, to get a better sense of, of what it of what a direct variation is. Um, so I think the easiest way to find out is just take the output variable or the second variable, the one on the right. Uh, you know if it's x, y then y is your output or you know in this case uh, we've got mc this will be your output. Um, take that divided by uh, the input variable. So, um, so in this case we'd have two Divide by one. Um, six divided by three. Uh, eight divided by four. And these are these all reduce down to two. So six over three is equal to two. You know, divide six by three, and that's two. Uh, divide eight by four. So and we can see in this case, yes. Definitely, there's a there's a direct variation, or y varies as x, and w the way we describe that is y is equal to two x, two x, and just you know y is twice as big as as x. So if x is one, then y is two. If x is three, then y is six. Um, here's another example. Um, we could say one divided by three. That's as simple as that gets. One third, um, three divided by nine. We could simplify that to one third. So we we would say c is equal to one third of uh, of m. I think that stands for math, Sarah Thompson. Uh, I think that's where I was going with that. Um, here's an example where there where there isn't a uh, where the one variable is not a constant multiple of the other, so if we have three divided by one, that is equal to three. Uh, five divided by two is is not equal to three. That's that's a different uh, different number. So you know, O is not a constant multiple of n. You know, it, it changes. So uh, these are direct variations here. So you can you can write them as um, um, something like this, where one variable is the other variable times a constant, and you know a number like that.